Yo guys, what's up? It's Coffee, and welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your webcam look a thousand times better. Now, I know I made another video like this on my second channel, which is my tech channel, but I really wanted to reiterate this because there has been some new releases since I made that video that will help you improve further. So let's get right into it. So right now, I'm recording on OBS with my Logitech C920, and that's it. That's it, I have my ceiling fan on and my monitor, and that's it. So um, uh, first, what I recommend doing is getting some background lights or something. My background is a little bit of a mess right now because it's been falling apart, but that's fine. So I'm going to turn on, I have a ring light right here. So I'm going to turn that on. It's going to shine on the side of my face, right? I have another light on the wall, an LED strip over here. I'm going to turn that one on. Uh, let's make that one teal and then turn this one on. That one's also going to be teal. And then I have a purple one and I have my cloud lights. Now that is one, two, three, four, five. Five LED lights. Now I'm going to turn my ceiling light off and then I'm going to turn on another side light over here and then we'll see how that looks. Now the next thing we need to do is adjust our settings. Now I'm going to go off of OBS actually and open up a extra software called NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, NVIDIA Broadcast is only available with RTX, so it's only possible if you have RTX on. Um, so I'm going to disable this. My computer does come with RTX, so I can use this. So basically what I'm going to do is select my Logitech C920, select 1920 by 1080, and you can adjust the settings in here. But there is a key feature that is not available on OBS, and that is background blur. That is AI background blur. So I turn it on, and of course it's not going to look good because I have it on the highest setting, but if I turn this down, it doesn't look bad, right? So then we open up this, and it shows all of our settings. What we want to do is uncheck all of these boxes. All of these boxes are unnecessary. Um, as you can see, I'm out of focus. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to check my focus. So I'm going to try to get me as focused as possible and as sharp as possible. You can use your hair as a good example. Um, I'd say I'm roughly in focus here. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Now, ideally, your webcam would not be facing in front of you. It looks better at an angle, but I, I have to deal with this for now. And then the exposure that is Im very important exposure is very important when making videos because you don't want to be blown out and you don't want your fps to be slow like this the higher the exposure it also adjusts the shutter speed because it's it's just an overall setting usually you have iso aperture shutter speed this all you have is exposure and you have to deal with it so right now it's on four and i'm a little bit too bright i could be darker what do you mean by that I'm, a, I'm moving a bit too fast. So I'm going to turn it down to negative five. And I'll hate, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. It could be better, but I don't hate it. Uh, also, my light is on camera and that's distracting my webcam. Okay. So next, I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to mess with some of these settings. So gain just makes it brighter or darker. Um, Just roughly adjust it to what you think. Like, actually, I'm thinking it is a little bit glitchy or laggy but i am kind of liking the lower gain higher exposure because yeah my webcam is going to do that but you get to adjust the gain and the gain is basically iso i said there was no iso but it's basically iso because it's just digital brightness right so just like how this brightness is digital brightness, ISO, ISO, gain, all digital brightness. So if I turn it all the way up, I'm going to be washed. I'm going to be faded. If I turn it all the way down, I'm not going to be as faded. So I'm going to find a sweet spot in the middle. I'm liking that. I don't think that's that bad. And then bada bing, bada boom. You could play with your, um, you could play with your sharpness if you want. I wouldn't have it too sharp because then you look like this and you look crispy. So like, just mess with it. Uh, 143 is kind of good. And then bam, put your hands up, shake them around. It does get a little out of focus, but the background is blurry. So let's check that off. 
put it back on, off, on, off, on. So it definitely does look better. And then I'm going to open it up uh, again in OBS. So it it works as a just whole. It, it works as its own little thing. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to turn this on and bam. So we have this. It just in the corner. Let me let me. You guys have seen this in the corner the whole time. But you just put it in the corner. You crop it. You alt drag it and you crop it in. <laughs> try to tell me. Try to tell me that's a webcam. Like it's crazy. Just out of a C920. Just out of a C920. Now, um, you can also just buy a cheap DSLR. I'm pretty sure for $200, you could get a Rebel T3i, which I believe works with the EOS utility software. If not, I'm sorry. I lied directly to your faces. It's roughly like that. So you could get that, and then you could have a DSLR camera and connect it to your computer. Um, it has a flip out screen and everything. So yeah, you could do that. But, um, just get a C920. You could also use your phone. I have a spare phone that I don't use. It's just uh, a broken iPhone 8 Plus. You could use that. Whatever floats your boat. There are free softwares to use your phone, or you don't even need to download a software. You can straight up use Google for your advantage. There is a website called OBS Ninja, and you can stream your camera. You can stream your audio all through that if you're just starting out. Anyways, this has been Coffee. If you guys enjoyed this video or if it helped you out, please let me know. I will make other videos like this if you have any questions. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.